What's up, you guys? So apparently, people are blaming Oprah for Taraji P. Henson crying about how she's not being paid what she's worth in Hollywood. People are actually blaming Oprah because Taraji said that she almost didn't accept the color purple role. And so Taraji is setting the record straight. So we're gonna get into that in this video. But first, if you're watching and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and everyone click the thumbs up button. All right, you guys, so this is from Boss Up. Boss Up reported Taraji P. Henson admits she almost didn't accept the color purple role due to pay disparity. Now, this is the same conversation she was having with Gail King on Sirius XM. Boss Up reports Taraji is giving fans even more insight into just how bad the pay disparity in Hollywood is for black women. Now, this is what she said about the color purple. They say after tearing up while talking about pay disparity during a recent interview with Gail King, the actress revealed that she almost didn't accept her role in The Color Purple due to just that. And this is a quote from Taraji. She said, I almost had to walk away from The Color Purple. She said, yes, ma'am. And then she went into the part where she was saying, if I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and Felicia? Why am I doing this if it's all just for me? So her statement about almost having to walk away from the role in The Color Purple shows that The Color Purple was one of those movies where she felt like she wasn't getting paid her worth. And so Oprah is producing The Color Purple, so people are blaming Oprah. This is a video, this is a TikTok video from when they were doing press in New York City. And I want you to look at the body language in this video. We're gonna get into the comments, but I want you to first look at the body language. All right, you guys, so if you notice, Taraji doesn't look happy. Taraji doesn't seem to be smiling much. She might be uncomfortable because she's made those statements, but she doesn't seem to be happy. And people are saying it looks like there's tension between her and Oprah Winfrey. You can see Taraji kind of like trying to find her place and figure out how she's gonna stand. And then when the rest of the cast walks over to take the photo, Oprah walks away from Taraji. So a lot of people are saying that Oprah is not feeling Taraji for the statement she made. Now, personally, I felt like Oprah was trying to arrange, arrange the picture where the actors were in the middle. And I believe that's the director on the left and then Oprah Winfrey on the right, the producer. That's how it looked to me that she was just putting the actors in the middle. But people were saying that it looked like she was trying to get away from Taraji because of everything that Taraji had said. Like if you look at the comments, you see people saying it's Oprah. Her energy is wicked. I can feel it from here. Someone else said before reading the comments, I felt exactly how everyone feels. And they said, and Fantasia looks at Taraji like, are you okay? Another person said, Taraji and Fantasia are BFFs in real life. They definitely gave a cue to each other. I sense Taraji, see Oprah for who she is, not the person she portrays. Somebody else said, Taraji looked like she was about to cry whenever she turned her head. To me, she did. She did look like she was about to cry. And somebody else asked, what Oprah and Taraji beefing about? You see a lot of questions about beef between Oprah and Taraji. Somebody else says, so we not going to see the color purple because I don't play about Taraji at all. Someone said, I think it's because Oprah didn't pay her well. Taraji was talking about low pay on a podcast, but I don't know. Somebody else said, where's the lady that reads body language? <laughs> from what I could tell, from what I know about body language, it looked like Taraji was just trying to find her place, like how she keeps 
moving her feet around and just trying to define where she stands. That's what it looked like to me. She was just trying to figure out where she stands. And so Taraji, she must have got wind of the conversations that people were having on social media about her and Oprah. So she posted this clip last night. She posted a photo from that photo shoot with her and Oprah Winfrey. And she said, it's so important for black women and all women of color to support each other. It's also imperative to have women of color in decision-making positions across all industries. She said, thank you for responding to my message with compassion, understanding, and support that I've received. With that being said, Miss Oprah has been nothing less than a steady and solid beacon of light to all of the cast of The Color Purple. She has provided encouragement, guidance, and unwavering support to us all. She told me personally to reach out to her for anything I needed, and I did. So this is where she's spilling the tea. She said she did reach out. Now, she said it took one call, one conversation, one decision-making Black woman to make me feel heard. Thank you, Ms. Oprah, for all that you do. So you guys, it sounds like she's addressing what she said about pay disparity in Hollywood. It sounds like she's saying that Oprah addressed her concern. Like how she said in the beginning, she almost didn't take the role in The Color Purple because of the pay disparity. It sounds like she's saying she called Oprah and Oprah fixed it. That's what, how it reads to me. Y'all leave a comment, let me know how it reads to you. But I also wanted to show y'all this. Why Oprah got her comments off? And I checked to see if it was just one, but when you go to Oprah's Instagram page, her comments are turned off. And I don't know when she turned them off. I don't look at her page every day to be able to say, oh, she turned them off today. Maybe it's related to Taraji. She could have turned them off a while ago, but her comments are off. And it does make me wonder, it does make me wonder if it's related to the conversations people are having on social media about her and Taraji. But again, I can't say exactly when she turned her comments off, but I have noticed that her comments are off. Now, I will be doing another video talking about Oprah Winfrey's weight loss, and that's actually part of the reason I was on Oprah's page to discuss her weight loss, and I noticed that her comments are off. And it goes all the way back. Oh, here we go. She, she allows comments on this one. Now, most of the posts are promoting the color purple, but she only allows comments on this one from last week. But other than that, Oprah don't wanna hear nothing y'all got to say. <laughs> Oprah don't wanna hear our mouths. So you guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Taraji addressing the social media banter about her and Oprah Winfrey having some sort of beef. Leave a comment and share your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching. And while we're sipping tea, let's talk about some real tea. Let's talk about your tea. 2024 is quickly approaching and it's that time of year when we start laying out our plans for the next year and if your plan includes starting a business, continuing to run a business, or using social media at all for business, and that includes you content creators, I want you to download my free ebook. It's called The Pink Print, and it's a 30-page guide to YouTube in 2024, because you're definitely going to need YouTube in 2024. The link is in the description box and the comment section.